Oh, I'm going to run this back recording audio and video. Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm feeling much better. The trees aren't coming on me as much today. Today we're going to be breaking down that incident that's been all over the internet and everyone's been tagging me in it and tweeting me and saying, Donut, you never talk about bad police incidents, you f***ing bootlicker. The incident where the reportedly 14 year old girl was abducted and then police went and killed her. It's a messy incident with a lot of crossfire. I got to be honest with you all. I gathered as much information as I could on this incident and I'm just going to lay it all out and you tell me what you think in the comments below. It's messy like an Atlanta Waffle House at like 3 a.m. There's a ton of information on this. I'm just going to lay it all out. All I can do is present the facts and let the viewers decide for themselves. But first, I do have to announce my sponsor for this video, ShipStation. First off, I love ShipStation, mainly because I personally use it. Shipping costs and shipping speed are super important to me and every other business out there that does any kind of shipping. Any online business, no matter how small or how big, that's some important stuff. Personally, have you ever left an online cart sitting there because the shipping costs were too high or it was going to take too long. That's why it's important to get those costs and those shipping times down as far as possible. And that's where ShipStation comes in. Let me show you my personal experience with ShipStation. This is my personal little ShipStation right here. And I use ShipStation to ship things on here because I sell things on eBay. I sell these things on eBay. And guess what? ShipStation is easily, easily. Hey, what are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? ShipStation is easily integrated with eBay and many, many other online platforms. I can easily automate shipping tasks and manage orders in one simple dashboard. Like I said, you can integrate it everywhere also. Amazon, Walmart, Shopify, many, many more platforms. Whether you're shipping 100 packages a month or 1,000, ShipStation can make it so easy and you will have the best shipping rates. You will get industry-leading discounted rates from USPS, UPS, DHL, and Global Post with discounts up to 89% off USPS and UPS rates. Over 130,000 companies have grown their businesses with ShipStation and 98% of those businesses who stay with ShipStation for a year are customers for life. Right now, if you go to ShipStation.com slash donut operator, you can get a 60 day free trial. So click that link in the description in the comments below or go to ShipStation.com slash donut operator. Now to properly cover this incident, we have to start a day before the shooting happened, just so we can paint the whole picture. We're going to do this like a Guy Ritchie movie. September 26th, 2022, 7.30 AM. 45 year old Anthony John Graziano was involved in a domestic dispute with his estranged wife that ended with him shooting his wife to death outside of an elementary school during the early morning drop off of students by parents. Not a great guy, actually a piece of shit. He shot and killed someone while kids were being dropped off at an elementary school. But it's California, so no one was armed to, you know, help defend the children. Several of the bystanders' cars were hit with several stray bullets, but nobody else was harmed. We even have some footage from a neighbor's security camera showing that the suspect and his daughter were together during the murder. The suspect is then suspected of kidnapping his daughter, triggering an Amber Alert. The next day at 10.25 a.m., the suspect's truck with the girl inside was spotted at a convenience store and a 911 call was placed that alerted police to his location. Hey, I just called a little while ago and reported, you know, the Amber Alert that was on for yesterday? I think it's the girl and I think it's the dad. They're going uh, towards Barstow right now. I have a picture of the little girl that was in the front. She came in and got two sodas for me. And then number eight and the guest came to me and told me it's the same uh, Nissan Frontier and everything they fake like they were going down south on the 395 and they turned around and you can see him going in front of our cameras and he, he said he uh, uh, ended up going uh, east of 58 towards Barso. After the call, dispatch tried to get California Highway Patrol to respond, but there were no officers in the area. So San Bernardino Sheriff's deputies responded and began searching for the pickup truck where they eventually located it. Are you approaching the Linwood exit? Yeah, that's a for Yeah, there's a white pickup truck probably doing 100 miles an hour. East. Yeah, that's the one I'm trying to catch up to. It's uh, Nissan Frontier. Hey, Timmy, step it up. He's going to be about a half mile from you. At this stage of the pursuit, the suspect was going so fast, it took officers a little bit to catch up with him. So they even radioed in for a faster vehicle. Sam, one number three lane, straddling number four, still trying to catch up to it. Coming up on OCD. And speeds are over 113. And Sam, if I could get a CHP unit, maybe as a charger to keep up to him. Eventually, a deputy did catch up with the suspect, but his vehicle was disabled during the pursuit and another one was forced off the road. Shots fired, shots fired. I copy, shots fired. Taking rounds, shots fired. Oh, shots fired. I copy, taking rounds. Still northbound, number one. Watch out, watch out, watch out. K9, are you okay? I gotta check on K9, he's off in the desert. Advise your status. Number one lane, still northbound. Correction, southbound. K95 shots fired. Uh, I'm good for. Give me an airship and some additional units. 
still south on number one lane. Shortly after the initial shots were fired, officers finally got the helicopter they had been requesting. That's when they see this. And one on the left. Camera on the suspect recording audio and video. Oh wait, coming up. He's got his shoulder. He's coming up to the shoulder. Shoulder for the suspect. Where are we at here? What you saw there was kind of hard to see. It's assumed that someone inside of the vehicle shot at a deputy who was trying to stop traffic. Here's where things get a little strange to say the least. After the truck goes past the stopped officer, multiple other shots come from the driver's side and the passenger side of the vehicle, targeting police and bystanders alike. Suspect vehicle southbound passing North Stoddard now. Eight eighty two, number one lane, uh, crossing over North Stoddard. King Paul twenty four. Uh, suspect vehicles in the number one lane, southbound fifteen. Just fired a shot out the passenger window. And we're getting. Uh, we're He's still, still firing. Actively firing. Um, out of the driver's side window. Now it's important to know before I show this next clip, this little detail is still under investigation. We're not even sure that the daughter was shooting at officers as a lot of people on the internet has pointed out. I still wanted to show this clip, which is an eyewitness account from the incident. That driver then reported to police seeing a gun pointed out of the passenger side of the truck shooting at himself and officers. I flipped the video and then I, that's when I caught the back end of him. And then I didn't expect a gun to pop out shooting at me or at the cops, but he was, it looked like, it kind of looked like he was aiming at me. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Where, what part of the car did you see the gun come out of? The passenger, uh, pat, right at the passenger side right here, right out the side. Just, and, just leaning out, just open fire. And was it the driver or was it someone else in the car? It must have been someone else because someone was still driving the truck. The chase continues on for a little bit longer with more shots coming from the truck. Now this whole chase culminates with a driver trying to make a U-turn, a U-turn into oncoming traffic. This causes the vehicle to stall out, which ends with the final confrontation with police that we've been seeing so many times on the internet. Stop up here. Uh, there's going to be way too much backdrop for us to engage if he does end up uh, exiting and uh, making contact with you guys. If he gets in the desert. Hey, well, I can tell he's leaving and the traffic actually firing. In my case, he's just out. He's pulled out. He's making a U turn. He's exiting his lane, but he's using the off, uh, on ramp to exit no wrong way. Watch these deputies. Hey, deputies, he's coming right at you on the exit. Hey, you guys, he's going to lose control here as he goes up that embankment. Do we have units on Bear Valley? He's stalling out. All right, dude. I'm keeping 140, dude. Everybody's got a rifle. Dude. Let me know when open the open door. You're, you're clear. 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 Units back up. It takes the cover. It takes the cover. We have zero back drop on the southbound lanes. After the truck failed to escape, shots continued to come from the vehicle towards the officers, with the truck eventually stopping. It's at this point where the father, the, the suspect in the truck, is assumed to be incapacitated, and one of the deputies signals for the teenager to get out of the truck and come towards him. Shots are fired, shots are fired. Continue to shoot at the deputy. Hold out. Hold out. Hold out, guys. Second shooting is out. She's out of the passenger's alley. Does anyone else have eyes in the vehicle to see if we have any other passengers inside? Oh, no. You guys watch your backdrop. You guys on the exit, watch your backdrop for uh, cross uh, freeway traffic. Watch your crossfire, guys. 
And unfortunately, what you saw there was an unarmed teenage girl who was a suspected kidnap victim get out of the vehicle, obeying deputies' commands to come towards them, and then getting shot by officers. Here's a voice recording of that deputy giving commands to get out of the vehicle and come towards him. You can even hear him telling the other officers to not shoot at her and that the father, the one wanted for murder, is still in the car. Hey. After the officer stopped shooting, emergency aid was immediately rendered and the teenage girl was transported to the hospital where she died later that day. The father, however, was pronounced dead at the scene and was found to be in possession of a whole lot of guns, ammunition, grenades, body armor, and tactical helmets. This case is now being investigated by the California Department of Justice. I know a lot of you guys out there on Twitter are probably saying, well, don't us defend the cops shooting that 14 year old. No, dude, I'm just putting the information out there. Was it f***ed up? Yeah, it was f***ed up. Was there a little bit more information that's just kind of f***ing weird and the investigation is still ongoing? Yeah. This your average everyday bootlicker here always defending the police no matter what i don't know if you guys watch the unsubscribe podcast but we're at 961 videos and i don't know if i'm gonna go past a thousand i am ah. tired of a lot of the negativity online we'll see i don't know leave your comments below tell me what you think about this incident tell me if the police could have handled it better if you want to help support the channel you can go watch the unsubscribe podcast or go on over to donutoperator.com that's all i have for you fine people today and until next time have a fantastic day Whacker.